and to our lesson on solving equations with the unknown on both sides. We begin with the equation 3x is equal to 2x minus 4. Now we're going to use the balance method, which means the left hand side of the equation is perfectly balanced with the right hand side. And we need to keep them balanced as we solve the equation. So we need to get x's onto one side and the numbers on the other side. So to begin with, I'm going to move these two x's to the other side by making them equal to zero. So I take away the two x and two x take away two x will cancel to make zero. But to keep it balanced, I have to do the same to both sides. So now we have three x take away two x, which is one x. And that is equal to negative 4. We can check that this works. We have 3 lots of negative 4 is equal to 2 lots of negative 4 take away 4. Well, 3 lots of negative 4 is negative 12. And 2 lots of negative 4 is negative 8. Take away 4 does make negative 12. So you can see the two sides of the equal sign are balanced. So x is equal to negative 4. Okay, let's try question b. For question b, we have 4y plus 3 is equal to 2y plus 13. We're going to keep the equation balanced and we want the y on this side. We want the y on the left hand side because there are more y's on this side than the right hand side. So to begin with, I'm going to move all the y's to the left hand side by taking away 2y because these will cancel. 4y take away 2y is 2y plus the 3 and that will equal 13. Now I need to take away the 3 from both sides. So these will cancel and I have 2y is equal to 10. And you can see gradually the numbers are all moving from the left hand side to the right hand side. And then I need to do the opposite of a multiplication of 2, which is divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 will cancel. So y will be left to 5. And we'll check that this works. We can substitute it back in. 4 lots of 5 plus 3 is equal to 2 lots of 5 plus 13. 20 plus 3 is 23. And 10 add 13 is 23. So you can see how it has remained balanced. So y is equal to 5. Okay, let's try question C. So to begin with, I'm going to take away the three t's from this side and move them to the other side by taking away three t. So three t take away three t will make zero, so they will cancel. So I'm left with five t take away three t, which is two t plus the three will equal seven. I'll take away three from both sides, so these will cancel because they'll make zero. So two t will equal 4. We can do the opposite of times 2 by dividing 2. So these will cancel and we're left with 4 divided by 2 is 2. So t will equal 2. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and solve this question for yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we have 3R minus 1 is equal to 2R plus 5. I'm going to keep the equation balanced with the R on the left hand side. First thing I'll do is take away the 2R to the other side. These will cancel. So I'm left with 3R take away 2R, which is R minus 1 is equal to 5. I'll do the opposite. I'll take away 1, which is add 1 to both sides. So R will equal 6. For question E, 5G 
plus 3 is equal to 11g minus 21. I'm going to draw the line to keep them balanced. And now you can see there are more g's on the right hand side than the left hand side. So I'm going to want g left on the right hand side. So I need to move the positive 5g from this side to the other side by taking away 5g from both sides. So these will cancel. So I'm left with 3 is equal to 6g minus 21. And now I'm going to add 21 to both sides. So these will cancel. So I'm left with 24 will equal 6g. And finally, because this is 6 times g, I'm going to divide both by 6. And these will cancel. So I'm left with 24 divided by 6, which is 4. So g is equal to 4. And finally, let's do question f. So we have 10 plus 11w is equal to 60 plus w. And you can see we have more w's on the left hand side. So we'll leave w on the left hand side. And the first thing we're going to do is move the w's to the same side by taking away w from this side, from both sides. So we have 10 plus 10w is equal to 16. This is a positive 10, so we'll take away 10 from both sides. These will cancel. So we're left with 10w will equal 60, take away 10, which is 50. This means 10 times w, so we'll divide both sides by 10. So w will equal 50 divided by 10, which is 5. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching and take care.